So when we dyno test, we have to do the following because the bike's got traction control. So we have to go to bike setup, traction control, and disable. And then we can go back and then we can do the run. If we don't do that, it doesn't go anywhere. But, um, luckily there is a disable of uh, traction control. God help us what happened when uh, they decide to not let anybody remove the traction control. But hey ho, it is removable and it means we can do some dyno work. So uh, let's crack on and see what she does. Like what did you be speaking? Doing a wheelie at 140 mile an hour. First, second, third, fourth. That is so fast, isn't it? Another one bites the dust. So we've managed to get five runs out of the bike with the Dono only playing up a little bit. So uh, we've got some good results. And Leslie's bike was making a cool 136 horsepower standard. And now she's making around 173. Ooh, this is the last run. Yeah, so courtesy of two new CU, we can uh, de-restrict restricted Triumph Rocket 3s. Uh, on here you'll see horsepower and torque. Blue is the stock bike, that's the horsepower. And that's the torque. So we've got 135 foot-pound of torque and 138 horsepower. And then by lifting out full throttle and remapping to suit, We've gone to 172 horsepower and 155 foot-pound of torque. So you can see we've got a lovely curve that we've actually picked up horsepower through my changes from idle right the way through to the red line. So the horsepower has gone from there to there. So we're picking up, even at 3,000 revs, we've gone from... Let's have a look. Come on. If I could get it to work. So we've gone from horsepower 77 horsepower to 88, 11 horsepower gain, 134 foot pound of torque to 153. So 20, 20 foot pound of torque gain right down there. And it's pretty well across the board. Um, we've even got a bigger gain in torque at the top end, 115 foot pound of torque, and she's making 142. So she's making 27 foot-pounds of torque more at 6,000 revs. Um, and we're allowing it to rev out. In, I always do my testing in fifth gear with the rockets. Um, this loads up the bike pretty well. And we're now able to rev out to 7,000 revs just under uh, by changing rev limit. Because there's power up there. There wasn't power up there before. She's already nosed over. So she's still climbing now. Uh, so overall, a lovely gain. Yeah, lovely gain. So that's uh, this morning's job. Each reflash with the two new ECU. You can see this, re uh, this is two new ECU software. So that's showing ignition timing, low fuel, high fuel per gear. So we change all these figures to get more horsepower out. But every time we reflash the ECU, it's 21 minutes. And sometimes it fails and then it has to be um, boot, rebooted again. And it normally takes about 35 minutes then for it to recover. But it's the only software we've got available um, at the moment. I understand that to, uh, Wilditch Racing have got software available, which I'm going to try. Um, when I get the opportunity, yeah.